Here are the top five stories you need to know about. It's been nearly four months since the disappearance of two elderly Chico women, 84-year-old Dolores Sakamoto and her daughter, 64-year-old Vivian Luna. We've been following this story since they first went missing. And now the family is looking for more community support to get answers. Action News Now reporter Diego Moctezuma is live in Chico. Diego, you spoke to the family. How are they trying to spread the word? Yes, Kelly, the family is offering a $10,000 reward uh, leading to the woman's safe return or a conviction. Uh, two women, Vivian Luna and Dolores Sakamoto, were reported missing on July 21st. Since then, there has been only a few possible leads about their whereabouts. Luna was caught on camera pulling out money from a bank in Susanville the next day. The last trace of the women came from a ping on Luna's cell phone near Mount Shasta Ski Park back on July 23rd. Now, they were last seen in a black Lexus. Family members say neither of them were capable of driving a car, so it was highly unlikely they were by themselves. Now, if you see or hear about their whereabouts, reach out to Butte or Siskiyou County Sheriff's Office, call 911, or you can leave an anonymous tip. Back to you, Kelly. A traffic stop in Redding ended with the arrest of a convicted felon. The neighborhood police unit said they pulled over 49-year-old Anthony Kaiser of Cottonwood on Saturday, searched his car, and say they recovered two guns, one of them loaded. Firefighters in Redding say a person in crisis delayed efforts to stop an arson fire at a home on Pioneer Lane. This happened around 3 yesterday afternoon. Police arrived and arrested a suicidal person suspected of starting the fire and interfering with firefighters. Two first responders were injured. The suspect faces charges of arson and interfering with firefighters. Today, Chico City Crews will hand out seven-day notices to dozens of homeless people at three different locations. They say there are 37 people camping illegally in Bidwell Park. They're also handing out notices to eight people camping at Comanche Creek and along MLK Parkway and the Silver Dollar Fairgrounds. They're handing out those seven-day notices throughout the day.